Weather rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. What a beautiful night. Skies are clear, the winds are light, and temperatures still holding pretty steady in the 50s for the most part. But we're going to see cool temperatures again by tomorrow morning. Let's take you out live to Colleen. Looking good out there. Our live Centex seamless gutter sky tracker. It's on top of the rooftop of one Colleen Center and looking pretty good. That's uh, Interstate 14 and Highway 190. Uh, looking uh, pretty smooth at this hour. Now, the newest Drought monitor, it always comes out on Thursday, as you know, and uh, doesn't have good news for us. That is for sure here. Look at the reds and the dark reds, and then look at the scale. Exceptional, uh, severe drought right now in our area. That is not good news. That's been the story here uh, for the last several months. A little bit uh, wetter. At least it's been that way down toward the Brazos Valley. That's why they don't uh, have anything uh, except for just regular conditions right now down uh, toward the, the Brazos Valley. But the burn bands, they are still out there. Waco down toward uh, Temple and Colleen and Bell County and then Aries back off to the west. All up and down under those burn bands. It's going to be a pretty high fire danger this weekend with the dry conditions, the windy conditions out there, and the low humidity uh, expected. As we check out that rainfall, look at this. It's not good either because we're getting close to two inches below normal for the month. Yes, for the month. As we look at the yearly total, we've only had 2.72 inches. We're down over five inches since January 1st. You know, last year, by this time, same time, same place, 2.30. So we were very dry last year, too, as you remember, but we picked up a little bit more moisture there in April and May. Right now it is 51 degrees out in Palestine, the Palestine area, 58 down in College Station, as well as Temple, 54 in Waco, and temperatures off to the west. You can see a little bit warmer in Lampasas right at 61 degrees. Not much going on with the satellite. Pretty quiet weather. We've got a big ridge of high pressure developing, and that's going to be sitting on top of us not only tomorrow, but right on through the weekend. And that means that with high pressure on top of you and a ridge, we've got temperatures that are going to be above normal, dry conditions, and the winds don't look too bad uh, for the most part. They may start to pick up here by the uh, early part of next week. But as we take a look at our future cast overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning, dropping into the upper 30s and lower 40s, mostly sunny skies. And again, make sure you've got the shades with you because it's going to be bright. Sun uh, definitely will be bright on your morning commute. Temperatures already climbing into the low 70s by noontime. And then by the afternoon, we're going to make a run at the lower 80s for highs. So going to be low to maybe mid 80s over toward Brownwood and the Llano area. Great looking Friday night, clear skies, quiet weather. We're going to cool it off, but not quite as cool as tomorrow morning just because we'll have more of a southerly flow and a little bit more moisture begins to work in here. So by early in Saturday, we're talking temperatures 40s to around 50 degrees. And then as we go throughout the day on Saturday, look at the highs climbing into the mid to upper 80s here. Yeah, we could see some 90s. I'm not going to rule that out. A bunch of 90s here across the area. That is well above our average of about 72 degrees, even down toward the Brazos Valley. It may not be 90 degrees, but it's going to be in the low to mid 80s, and that's still kind of a cooker, especially on Saturday and Sunday. Tonight, though, we're going to drop into the upper 30s, I think about 38 degrees under mostly clear skies. And then tomorrow, mostly sunny, 84 the high temperature. East winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now, as we look ahead here, this is the long range 10 day forecast. 87 on Saturday, 86 on Sunday, 86 again on Monday. Tuesday, a few more clouds rolling, 84, but we'll see a 40 to 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight Tuesday into Wednesday. And of course, we'll watch for some strong storms. This is the time of the year, as you know, and then temperatures will cool down behind that in the mid to upper 70s. But still, that's not bad at all. Average high by the end of next week is about 74, 75. Nighttime lows will also start to come up, but that also tells you that we start to see a little bit more humidity here, especially by the tail end of the weekend. And then down toward Bryan and College Station, 79 tomorrow, 81 on Saturday, 85 on Sunday, dry on Monday, showers and storms late Tuesday into Wednesday. And then now you can see the tail end of next week will be in the 70s to around 80 degrees. But a beautiful stretch of weather, at least if you like it hot and you like temperatures in the 80s, that's what we have in store.